This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Angie Beaupre back with me. You are uh, a frequent flyer. You're here quite often. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice to have you in the studio. We've been doing this for two years by Zoom, but yeah. uh, nice to have you back in the studio today. And Brianna, you're no stranger to FYI. You've come here with a different hat on, but today, uh, Brianna Normando, you are here as the volunteer recruitment coordinator, the new volunteer yeah. recruitment coordinator for Big Brothers Big Sisters. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks September for having us. September is Big Brothers Big Sisters Month. It is. Every September we um, go throughout the county and try to amplify our voice for our need for volunteers, uh, donors, um, just support. And each of our towns usually supports us uh, in different ways. Um, right now we have Elmont. They are doing their waterfall in an aqua for us because that is our, well, the teal color is is now Big Brothers Big Sisters official color um, and the town of Smith Falls is still purple. They're doing the water tower purple for us in the evenings right up until the 18th. Um, we have Carlton Place in Perth also they do their uh, their town buildings for us in support so it gets everybody asking like what's with the colors and it's just to help amplify the fact that we're always looking for volunteers. We're always looking for support for Big Brothers Big Sisters throughout the county. And it wouldn't help. It wouldn't happen without uh without the help that you get too, for sure, for yes. sure. So uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Lanark County, your catchment area, you, you said a few places, but how, how big are you? Yeah, we're all of Lanark County. So, I mean, we cover Pakenham, Elmont, Carlton Place, Perth, Lanark Village, all of the whole county is all in our area. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. So, Brianna, you're new to this, but you're yeah. looking for volunteers. We are definitely always looking, always looking for volunteers. Um, so, like Andrew said, all through Lanark County, we have a need in every little population that we serve um, for all of our programs. We're looking for volunteers, one-on-one -on -one mentors. Um, our Jewel store in Perth and Smith Falls, we're looking for volunteers there as well. So yeah, anywhere that someone can lend us a few hours, that would be wonderful. And you have a youth group too. We do, <laughs> yes. we do. Yes, for sure. And yeah. that ha yeah. happens a couple of times a week, doesn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. our hours uh, starting this, <coughs> I believe it's this week, is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is our WAC program because there's a program for the teens at the library. So we want to support each other by not opening that night so that the kids can get to experience both programs. But we're also looking for a facilitator to help edit our WAC program nine hours a week. Ideally, it would be um, a college student that's doing school from home or uh, somebody in the social services looking for that step into the area. So anybody that's looking to apply, they can check out our website at lanark.bigbrothersbigsisters.ca. And you've had people do it before too, and uh, just a lot of initiative, some creativity, mm -hmm. you know, just what do the youth want to do when they, you know, come for a couple hours after school? Yeah, it's finding that connection with somebody who has something that they'd like to share, you know, some great ideas, fun games, activities, community connections that help the kids feel like they're more part of the community always helpful that's right that's right and then and, and not just the WAC program too it's like volunteers if you've got a special skill that you like to do not, not even skill a hobby if you like to sew if you like to bake if you like to watch movies you like video games so much do horseback riding mm -hmm. you, know, you like walking exactly. you like running you, you that sort of thing yeah that's yeah. You know. yeah that's exactly we have somebody right now that's volunteer that wants to set up a financial planning aspect where they learn to do their taxes and learn to save their money and what a great grocery idea. shopping yeah it's wonderful so we yeah. really take volunteers of all strides just to cover the bases. That's yeah. right, that's right. So I mean, it's not even much taking time out of your day, you're gonna do something anyways, bring somebody along. Exactly. You know, and I saw uh, a few people, actually, I went to Movies Under the Stars pretty much every Thursday night <clears throat> this past summer too, and there was quite a few big brothers, big sisters there with their with their littles too, and they really enjoyed that, mm -hmm. that program too. And it, w what a great night out. It was, you know, go out and enjoy the movies and take a little with you. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So how many littles have you got right now? Oh, our current numbers, I don't have the uh, the numbers with me, but I do know that through the summer, like, and since our volunteer recruitment coordinating position had started when Heidi McNeely was doing it, um, the volunteer base has grown so much. I know in the month of July, we had one big that was waiting to be matched with littles, but it's more often the other way where we have littles on our wait list waiting for that big to volunteer with us. And it has to be a good match. Like you can't just choose somebody and say, oh, okay, we're gonna match the next person on the list. They have to have similar interests or similar um, 
<clears throat> outlooks on things that that they would enjoy their time together it makes it successful yes yes yeah if they've got the same interests and everything too and you must have to do some background checks that sort of thing on, on all your yes there's a, a screening process for all the bigs involved because we're matching um, basically strangers that you know they will eventually become good friends but in the beginning we need to go through that thorough screening to make sure that everybody is uh, appropriate yeah. to, to spend the time together that's right and I mean it, 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 I, I've said the story many times before I have a friend that had was a big sister years ago years ago now the, the little is probably in her 30s now but she grew and when my friend got married the little was old enough to be a bridesmaid in her wedding yeah they keep that connection you know it, it, yeah it's a yeah. lifetime we've heard yeah. a lot of stories that have you know they've grown through the lifetime and they've stayed connected that's right yeah. that's right that's wonderful that's wonderful so September 18th is Big Brothers Big Sisters Day it is September the whole month is Big Brothers Big Sisters month but September 18th is Big Brothers Big Sisters Day and this year the spare room bowling lanes in Perth is offered to do a third-party fundraiser for us where they're donating 25 percent of the lane fees for that day back to the agency it's a help out to us I mean, just speaking of bowling too, that's, is that February, January, February? Yes. Bowl for Kids is always the last Saturday in February. So next year, I believe it's on the 25th. I don't quote me on the exact date, but the last Saturday in February is the Bowl for Kids and we do it throughout the county. Um, we have lane bookings in Smith Falls and in Perth and uh, we see teams come from all over. It's a great event. Absolutely. And you've had to pivot during COVID with the pandemic because yes. you couldn't get together. So yes. I know you were very creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In 2020, we were able to host the event right before the pandemic. And then in 2021, we had to flip to a virtual model, um, which, you know, definitely cut down the amount of people that were able to participate in one way or another. But uh, 20. 22 this year we were able to go back to the alleys but we offered both so people could bowl from home or they could bowl from the alley because we wanted to make sure everybody was safe and comfortable and only you know attending if they felt like they could and they were healthy enough <laughs> yeah that's right and like the the spare room too in Perth they were very supportive during the, that too as well too so it's yes not a surprise that they're going to be helping you out on September 18th yes for sure, for sure. Now, I, I know I was, I was looking at your, your website and your Facebook page and everything too, and this really uh, drew, drew my attention to it. Like when you were a big brother, big sister, that's something you can add to your resume. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as an employer, I, you, you look at things of, of what people, their hobbies were, their volunteer experience. So nice to see people who do volunteer experience, but somebody who's, who had some longevity with the big brothers, big sisters mm -hmm. is such a, an aspect, it's such a beneficial Yeah, thing we to used do. to have, um, people join us that were going through for policing and mm -hmm. police college because they needed that background of working with kids working with the public and working as a volunteer so you know anybody in a social service field that's interested in gaining some vital skills that they might need going into their career they can give us a call brand would be happy to work through that oh, okay now i'm just thinking of something too and i couldn't remember if you were able to do it because of COVID. there's a school program we is have in-school mentoring where yes. it's a one-to-one -one where you're a match with a child and you spend an hour once a week in the school with um, a child and they play games, board games, they read books, they go for a walk around the school, sometimes in or outside the yard depending on the policy of the school. Um, but yeah, it, it's a beneficial program for the people that only have a small window, like even a lunch break. You can take your mm -hmm. lunch break and spend that one dependable day a week mm -hmm. that the kid knows you're coming and, and that child benefits from that mentorship just in that one hour. And you'll be able to do that now. Were you mm -hmm. able to do it at the end of last year? The or very end of the, the year. Of yeah, the year. we were allowed back in the schools and our after school programs, we hosted Game On and Go Girls programs. Um, it was helped supported by Amya Perth. Uh, and we were able to host nine programs and serve 99 children, I believe, in just the Game On and Go Girls. Wow. And they're going to be starting up again soon. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Things to look forward to. So mm -hmm. for more information, how do people find out? Um, our website, lanark.bigbrothersbigsisters.ca. Um, we're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on LinkedIn. Um, Facebook. Facebook. And our office number is 613-283-0570. And uh, anybody be happy to take your call. And you are located at your office? Yes, we're at 18 William Street in Smith Falls, but we serve all of Lanark County, so and don't you, hesitate to call us. <laughs> uh, you're right uh, at the Jewel store. Yes. Which is the Big yes. Brothers Big Sisters yes. store. Yes. And you have the one in Perth as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's all run by volunteers. Yes, yes it is. is. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So you need to call Brianna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to call me. <laughs> you're, you're at the same location? People I'm at the same location, yeah. yeah. All right. How long yeah. have you been doing this? 
Oh, I, I have just started. So I've just taken on the role last week, and then today is my first official day in the office. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. But yeah. I've been and involved in the, yes, I've been in the community <laughs> with various programs, as yeah. you know, and then yeah. throughout Perth and Smith Falls. She was a natural fit for the volunteer oh, recruitment. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I, well, as soon as you walked in, I thought she was here for Christmas yeah. thing. I knew yeah. she was here for Christmas thing. So anybody that supports Christmas. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, too. It's our, our first day back for our seventh season here on FYI. So, yeah. oh, very nice. Happy too. anniversary. Thank yes. you very much. Nice to be celebrating with, with the, the two of you today, too. So, thank you for joining us. Thank you.